It was a straightforward matter, really, but one which could seal the fate of Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia. Last week on Wednesday, 34 out of the 49 members of the Muranga County Assembly voted for his removal from office. Now it is the turn of the Senate to investigate the allegations against the governor. A select committee of 11 senators was appointed today to look into the matter and report to the Senate within 10 days with appropriate recommendations. Some of the members of the committee are Bilo Kero, Janet Ongera, Moses Kajuang, Stuart Mazzaio, Stephen Sang and Joey Gwendo. Let us be aware that there are stakeholders and interest groups that you can try and interfere with the process. And consequently, Mr. Speaker, I hope and pray that our colleagues will rise above all those interest groups. Kwa maoni yangu ni kwamba hoja hii na kamati hii inawezo kupita maelezo. Kwa sababu maseneta wote ambao wako hapa hakuna ambaye aweza kununulika kiuraisi. Let's not be clouded by any press reports. Let's not be clouded by any other happenings in other counties like the wheelbarrows of Bungoma and so on and so forth. This is Muranga and Muranga alone. The governor has been accused of violating the constitution together with a host of procurement and abuse of office charges. In particular, the Muranga County Assembly had stated as grounds for impeaching him the incurring of a debt of 2.5 billion shillings, which the MCAs say is unsustainable for the county. The governor has also been accused of allocating money to publicize the Muranga Investment Cooperative SACO, popularly known as Shilingi Kwa Shilingi, yet the SACO does not belong to the county. Another allegation is that the governor has failed to set up a county budget and economic forum and has therefore not been consulting with the public and other leaders on the spending and other development plans in the county. When called to defend himself before the committee, the governor will also answer to charges of using county funds for functions which have not been devolved and also for borrowing 200 million shillings from the KCB without approval from the treasury or from the county assembly. The governor is also accused of using too much money to advertise and promote himself. The Senate itself is on trial because you know, the governors will be looking at us. The Wananchi will be seeing whether we are protecting the monies that we are taking to account this, Mr. Speaker, or whether we are also uh, letting governors get off, Mr. Speaker, with massive routing of resources you know, in this country. Wangi Wairia becomes the fourth individual to face a Senate impeachment committee and while the allegations against him could be more than what the others faced, only one other individual and that is Embu's Martin Wambora was dismissed by the Senate. The other two, Paul Chipkwony of Kericho and Bernard Kiala, the deputy governor of Machakos, were not dismissed. What could be Wairia's fate? Andrew Ochien, NTV.